Hey guys, so today what we're doing is we're going to be using the dd command to make copies on our Linux system. What I'm going to be doing today is making a copy of my PinePhones operating system, which is stored on an SD card. So you can follow along and make a backup of your own SD cards, make a copy, or make an image file where you can easily use that image file to put that copy back on either an SD card or you could actually flash it to the PinePhones eMMC itself. And then I'm also going to go over backing up the eMMC. But first off, before we get started talking about that, I'm going to start making my own backup of Movian, which is stored on an SD card. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a terminal, and once we open up that terminal, we're going to list our block devices using lsblk. And at this point, I expect you to have inserted your micro SD card into your laptop or computer or Pine Tab, whatever device you're using. And after inserting it, then write lsblk, lsblk. And at that point, we can see I have a 64 gigabyte drive, and right here, is the closest to that so this would be our device here looking over to the left it looks like on my system it happens to be labeled XVDI now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the DD command to make a copy and I'm gonna go over each part of that so I have root privileges so I'm able to run the DD command make sure if you don't have root privileges that you use sudo and because I have root privileges, I don't need to use sudo. So ddif, which is image file or intake file, however you want to look at it. And then I'm going to do equals slash dev slash xvdi. Now, the reason I am just leaving it that, and we actually have a couple partitions here, is because it is XVDI. That means it will copy all of the extensions, all of the other partitions that are on XVDI. So that's why I'm going to leave it that way. Say, if, for example, I wanted to just copy the boot and the boot partition, then I would do XVDI1. Because I don't need that, I need an entire copy, I'm leaving it XVDI. So that's how that works. Now we're going to put our output, and that would be right here. Output file, you can think of it as that. Whatever helps you remember. The last thing you want to do is mix up the IF and the OF, because if you mix those up, you're going to end up overwriting your disk instead of making a copy. So that is something you want to pay attention to. And at this point, I'm going to put the location where I want to store my image file. At that point, I'm going to select the temp directory slash tmp slash and now I'm gonna type the name out so what I'd like my copy named is Mobian and then I'm just gonna do 612 backup dot img that's the name of the file so the if equals is our intake it's basically where we're copying what we're copying you can copy anything from you know random slash dev slash random you could copy a file you can copy anything with the dd command and it's going to make an exact replica of whatever directory whatever file or whatever drive so now that we've put in our intake or where we're copying from we've put our output which is the of equals and then the name and location you don't have to specify if you don't specify the directory it'll be in the current directory so now that we've gotten that far let's go ahead and increase the time or the speed the amount of um, the amount that we're going to use to make this copy so I'm gonna go ahead with 12 M and at that point we can use our next section which I want to see status equals progress. And what that'll do is it'll kind of give me an estimate of how long it's going to be. That way I can keep an eye on it 
while I'm working on other things. So now we're ready to run it. We double check everything. We make sure we used the IF where it needs to be and not mixed up the IF with the OF. I can't emphasize that enough because if you do mix that up, you could be doing this entire thing backwards. So make sure you do the right section and the right value for that section. So let's go ahead and start it and we'll have an image file at the end of this. As you can see, it started to copy everything into this Mobian 612 backup.img. I wanted to include the date, something I could use to reference it, so that way I knew what date it was. So if anything, if I'm working on something, or if I want to experiment with something on my Pine phone, and somehow I destroy that installation, I'll have this backup ready, and I won't have to worry so much because I'll know everything is backed up. So now that we've talked about and shown how to make a image file backup of any drive or your Pine phone or SD card or file, let's go ahead over and talk about how we would do it if it were on the internal storage. Slightly different because we're going to be using jump drive for this. So the steps for making a backup of your internal storage or the EMMC and in our case this example we'll use is the Pine phone or Pine tab we will also be using what's called jump drive. So the first step for backup of your EMMC, unlike the SD card, we're going to use something called jump drive. So first thing you want to do is download jump drive and then you flash it to an SD card and at that point you're going to turn off your Pine phone or Pine tab and you're going to place that SD card in it. And after you've put that jump drive SD card in your Pine phone or Pine tab, we can then hook a USB cable between that Pine phone or Pine tab and our computer. So we have one end of this USB cable in the computer, the other end in either our Pine phone or Pine tab, whichever one we happen to be working on. You can substitute whatever it is your device is. At that point, after the cable is hooked between the computer and the Pine phone, we will boot the Pine phone with jump drive and jump drive will expose that internal drive to the computer. So meaning that when we run LSBLK like we just did, we would see that actual internal EMMC which will be accessed via the USB cable. So that's how jump drive works. I've gone over it in previous videos so if you are interested in that take a look at my Arch video which I did on a Pine tab. So take a look at that if you need to see it and hear more about Jump Drive. So at that point we find the block device by running the LSBLK and here's an example run. This is how you would make a copy of your internal EMMC if you've already followed the previous five steps. So you do sudo dd if equals slash dev slash mmc blk2 now keep in mind this is where you're making your copy from so if it's different and comes up on as a different name on lsblk make sure you substitute that here I'm using an example of what it was on mine now if you're going to remember that we're using the OF unlike the IF the OF is the output so the output file is how I think of it because we're making an output file so slash tmp slash pinephone backup dot img and that will be the name of it we can make this any name we want but I chose to make something that I could relate to and something I'd be able to know exactly what it was when I saw it in my directory and then after a space we put bs equals 8m you could use 12m too it depends on the you know your ram and the specs on your computer and at that point we put our status equals progress again and that way we can see how much progress we've made on our flashing and at that point you'll have a backup of your pine phones internal storage or whatever other device you may be using so if you're using a laptop you want to make a backup of your laptop you could also do this you could for example let's change it up a bit let's say you're making a backup of your laptop's drive you'd use similar steps but you wouldn't need jump drive because you'd be making the copy on your laptop 
and you only need jump drive if you're making a copy with another device. And at that point you could insert an SD card, you could then run the LSBLK, see what your internal drive is, then you would put, just as we said, making the copy from is in the IF equals, and you would put your laptop's drive here, and then you would just simply rename this section to whatever it is, say laptop backup.img. And that would be it. Easy as that. So DD is not as intimidating as you might think. Once you've used it a few times, you can find different ways to use it. And in fact, you can even have it uh, compress your backups as you make them. In fact, let me show you how we would do that as well, just to kind of give you an idea of how we can use pipes to create a compressed backup in one command. We're going to show what I'd use if I had made a compressed backup. And you can use anything you want. Say you want to make a copy of an image, uh, or you want to make a copy of an image, then you do dd if equals file name dot img of, which is the output file, and then we would do slash tmp slash copy file dot img. Now, say we want to make a compressed copy of our SD card. Let's go ahead and try that. Slash dev slash mmc blk zero. Then what we would do is use a pipe here. Now recall if you've been following me that pipes will take the first command and send the output of it to the next side of that pipe. So here's what we would do. We would run the input file here. Then what we would do is we would pipe it to gzip and then we would do the C flag, which means compress, and then we would make the location here. In fact, we would have to put one of these here, which would send it, and that little caret there will send it over to our location, slash tmp, slash backup, dot img. And that's how we would do that. So you can substitute this for any location that you want to copy, and you want to make it to a, in fact, this would be a, um, of course, this would be a .img .gz. Should have put that. So that's how you would do that. That's how you make a compressed backup. That's what I have today, guys. I want to thank everybody who's taken the time to subscribe to my channel and everyone who takes the time to share my videos, share my posts. I really appreciate it. I can't do it without you guys, so thank you for that. And make sure to share this video, like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on Linux.